Painting sets, often from 100, 200 years ago, are often not complete. They're, they're often missing, um, missing the main painting. They're missing um, paintings due to damage. They're missing paintings because they were deliberately uh, divided up. Uh, sometimes in a family, painting set gets divided between the children. So sometimes it's nice to look at complete painting sets. And we have an example uh, with Tara and the Eight Great Fears. And with this set, we really have uh, three study topics. We have uh, the number of paintings, uh, landscape narrative composition, and then identifying the Eight Fears vignettes. So, with this set of paintings, we actually have eight belong to the Rubin Museum of Art and one belongs to the Virginia Museum of Fine Art. So somehow they became separated. So why are there nine paintings if it's the eight fears? Well, it's a custom in Buddhism if when you have equal numbers, when you have uh, uh, when you have four, then you always add an extra painting. Uh, uh, six, then you add uh, an extra painting to make seven. Uh, you have ten paintings depicting um, uh, a subject, and then you add another. And what this does is it adds a focal point for when you display, when when you when you curate the painting in a temple. Uh, for a specific function, then you have a central painting and then you have an equal number of paintings on either side. So whenever you have uh, Tara and the Eight Great Fears done as individual paintings, there will always be nine paintings. And only eight of them will actually relate to the Eight Fears and the central one will be a generic green Tara. Now, another thing about, about the Tara paintings, and this is really from the 16th, 17th century to the present. They're very much done in a landscape uh, um, uh, format, and, uh, and they're very narrative. They're, they're, they're meant to depict uh, a scene with usually uh, a pavilion, some uh, trees, some shrubs, some flowers. Often there's a water element, <clears throat> and there can be various animals that, that are that actually have nothing to do with uh, with Tara and the Eight Fears, but there can be various animals or birds in the sky. Um, so then, identifying the Eight Fears. So what you have to look for in each of the compositions. Now remember, the central composition is just a generic green Tara. There will be no fear of the eight fears. There will be no fear represented in that painting. And the fears we're looking for are uh, fear of um, lions, fear of snakes, uh, fear of uh, elephants, fear of uh, robbers, uh, fear of uh, fire, fear of drowning. and. Uh, and also fear of false imprisonment. There are there are eight main fears, but then there is also sixteen, and sometimes uh, these can be expanded to thirty-two. And there can be substitutions at times. So with these uh, with these individual uh, compositions uh, and that contain the eight fears, you have to look carefully because it's not always apparent, and the fear is not usually very close. To the image of Tara, so the actual fear, meaning the the snake or the elephant or the or the lion, will be to the side of the composition or in the bottom or in the bottom right or left corner. So you really have to look carefully. Uh, again, what's really nice about this set is we've identified all nine of them. Eight of them belong to the Rubin Museum. One of them belongs to the Virginia Museum of Fine Art. Now, press the like button, you can subscribe, uh, you can also join us on Horror on Patreon and help support the work that we do.